solve this question I'll uh, briefly explain you uh, rotation of axis because that's a concept we have to use to solve this question that is if, if I rotate a uh, coordinate system about origin through an angle theta say in anti-clockwise direction then how coordinate coordinates of a point will change in the new system right from old to new how the system how the how the coordinates will change and similarly how uh, like equation of a curve from old system to new system will change right because that's a concept we have to use in this question so briefly I'll go through that first and then we can come back to the question so suppose there is a point P right with coordinates x comma y in the old system right this point P whose x coordinate is x and y coordinate is y, y coordinate is y in the old system now I rotate this coordinate system through an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction rotation through an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction so my new x-axis is like this and new y-axis is like this right so x new say x dash and this is y dash and let the coordinates of the same point P in the new system be x dash y dash so x y coordinate is distance from new x axis and uh, distance from y axis is x coordinate so this is x dash and this is y dash so you can see that again I repeat P is a point right uh, uh, whose coordinates in old system are x and y so this is x this length is x this length is y coordinates of point P and the point is same point is stationary point remains same we have rotated the we have rotated the coordinate system through an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction the new system is the, is the blue blue lines you can see this is a new x-axis is presented by x dash and this is new y-axis represented by y dash and let's assume the coordinates of the same point in the new system be x dash y dash so geometrically this is x dash and this is y dash now using uh, simple geometry we can figure out look at uh, relationship between the two so let this angle be theta angle and if this angle is theta this angle is also theta why because if angle between two lines is theta then angle between their perpendicular lines is also theta angle between the two lines drawn perpendicular to, 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 to the two given lines is also theta so perpendicular to this black line x-axis we have drawn this uh, again dotted black lines y-axis and perpendicular to this blue we have drawn this so angle between them is also 90 right uh, uh, angle between them is also theta theta here and theta here now in this triangle in this triangle you see uh, this is x this is uh, um, this length right so x equal to this the x is this much part x is this x equal to this length which is x dash cos theta you can see in this right angle triangle hypotenuse is x dash and this angle is theta so base is x dash cos theta so if I s you can see x equals to that is this length this length equals to x dash cos theta that is this length minus this part minus this part you have to find this part see we have this triangle here to find this part this part is same as this part in this triangle this angle is theta this uh, hypotenuse is y so it is y sine theta so x cos theta minus y sine theta so we have this relationship I'm writing it here x equals to mm, x dash cos theta minus uh, sorry it is y dash y dash sine theta this is y dash hypotenuse is y dash so y dash sine theta right let's write it here this is y right now similarly this y length equals to this y length is sum of this part see this part this is y dash cos theta plus this part this part in this right angle triangle is x dash sin theta again I re repeat this length is y this length y is sum of this length which from this right angle triangle is y dash sin theta y dash cos theta right and from this right angle triangle this angle is theta so it's like this 
this angle is theta this is y dash so I'm talking of this side y dash cos theta now we add this part to make it y this part this part is same as this part and from this triangle this is x dash this is theta so it is x dash sin theta so y dash cos theta plus x dash sin theta is y right so this is the rotation equation which we have to use in this question that is old system in terms of new system coordinates of old system in terms of and, and this is a very important result whenever you rotate coordinate system through angle through an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction you have to use this result if the rotation is done clockwise through an angle theta then replace theta by minus theta in the same system for clockwise rotation replace theta by minus theta and for anti-clockwise theta by theta right now let, let's let's once we have this result let's come back to this question in this question uh, uh, equation is uh, degree 2 equation is given ax square plus by square plus 2hxy plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 now we have to change we have to uh, rotate the coordinate system such that in such a way through an angle some through through an angle in such a way that this system when the, this equation or this conic equation goes to new system there should be no xy term this equ the equation of the same curve in the new system should be without x y term so if we replace the value of x we have this um, relationship x equals to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta right so if we replace here x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta in place of x we replace this in place of y we have x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta square then we have 2h x y term 2h x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta into y x dash sin theta plus and there is no need to replace in other terms because we want to see the x y term and other terms don't have the x y term now how can I get the x y term see x y term has to be vanished so coefficient of x y we can equate it to 0 now after replacing x in terms of x dash y dash and y in terms of x dash y dash this is the equation in the new system this is how the equation will look in the new system x dash y dash but there should be no x y term so we have to put coefficient of x y equal to 0 from here coefficient of x y is minus 2a sin theta cos theta from this side coefficient of x y is uh, this b also uh, 2b sin theta cos theta and from here xy term is when we multiply x with this y that is 2h cos square theta and minus sin square theta right so you can see this is minus a sin 2 theta plus b sin 2 theta plus 2h uh, cos 2 theta so we have uh, b minus a sin 2 theta equal to should be 0 this should be equal to 0 coefficient of xy should be 0 2h cos 2 theta equal to 0 so the value of tan 2 theta is it is 2h divided by a minus b so we have to rotate in such a way that angle theta should be uh, uh, half tan inverse 2h over a minus b angle of rotation should be this so that there should be no x y term left x y term should vanish and so uh, the answer is uh, this is uh, d choice